all right guys so here we go we're gonna get into it this is gonna be what i'm gonna be calling the power surge section of my channel gonna be a brand new segment i'm gonna be doing where i'm gonna be putting two characters up against each other now the two characters that i've picked are ones that i've had a bit of heat on lately on my tiktok now if you want to go see those go to tiktok at captain maori that's at captain m-a-o-r-i go see the videos go check out what i'm talking about but the two people that i'm getting a lot of heat about dark side and thanos who is the stronger who is the best who will come out on top and who will take the w in the end of it so in this one i'm going to go to focus on those two and we're going to go through some power things and and we're going to let you decide who it is i'm going to let you think who i am I'm gonna let you know who I I think is gonna win, but we'll leave it up to you, and I'll just give you give you facts and beats and stuff like that, and um, let you decide because it's a heated battle on both sides of DC and Marvel. You know you've got um, you got really staunch arguments on either side. Now everyone that knows me knows that I'm a Marvel guy through and through, but I'm not that close-minded Marvel guy that thinks, hey, Marvel is better at everything um because we're not you know there you know and i'm not not close-minded to think that we are um, there are certain superheroes like let's take the flash flash is the fastest superhero of all time so i'm not that close-minded guy so i'm gonna call it down the middle i'm gonna tell you my views and tell you who i think will win it and then we'll let you decide in the comments and if there's anything that you want to add to this this debate chuck it down in the comments and um if there's anything that you think that i miss chuck that down in the comments just to let me know i'm always always down to learn some more info and information about characters about the superhero genre in in in, in an essence so let's get into it dark side thanos we're gonna start off now i'm gonna leave the um cinematic versions of these characters out because i believe if we put the cinematic characters in there or versions of them in there thanos is gonna body dark side every single time now you may disagree with that but the proof is in the pudding when he got axed by Ares X and that was pretty much the end of him um not well not the end of him but that was pretty much the end of him he got dragged away and then um you know that, that was that so I'm not going to put them in there um we're going to focus on the comic book characters um the new versions and we'll go from there so we'll start off with good old dark side now dark side is the baddest mofo villain in the dc universe um you know he's one that you do not want to mess with he's one you do not want to take to the party or meet down a dark alley or anything like that his power level is off the booming charts um super strong super super um vulnerable he is um super intelligent and um the ruler of the apocalypto and um he's just a badass mofo now he's got something now he took over um his home planet of apocalypto and and became the ruler of that and he goes around conquering worlds conquering whole planets whole civilizations taking them over um but what he has got besides all of his feats is he's got a thing called the omega effect now if you don't know what the omega effect is i'll try and be as um explain it quite quickly and, and thing but the omega beams you'll see they're the main weapons he uses because he uses them in his in his eye blasts um and that that is devastating attack they are they are so fast that superman hasn't been able to outrun them um wherever that's why you see them dark all over the place because wherever dark side wants them to land that's where they're gonna land um and they'll just keep going until they hit their target the omega effect is stupid crazy stupid powerful um and he's just a powerful powerhouse of a character um not to be messed with he's taken out the justice league numerous times single-handedly um as well as multiple other heroes in the dc universe so he's not one to take lightly or um yeah anything like that because he's a badass to the bone um but that's dark side in a nutshell now if we flip over to the pins to marvel you've got the mad titan himself thanos now thanos everybody knows and if you're a marvel guy and you refuse to believe this um it is fact it is total fact it's totally true thanos is a carbon copy of dark side now when marvel creators were looking for a villain they looked at dark side and they thought hey i want a villain like dark side in our universe so they designed and made thanos after dark side he's a duplicate of dark side so accept that as you may uh, disagree with it as much as you want but it is 
it is written in stone it is fact and um that's just the way the cookie crumbles now but with thanos he is another badass mofo another one you do not want to take down the party or make down an alley or anything like that he is super strong he is super intelligent um and super durable and vulnerable um in, in anything if anything i can give over um thanos over dark side is that um i think thanos is a is a bit smarter bit bit more um how do you how would you say it how he's a bit more vindictive or a bit more he thinks things through a bit more and he's a bit sadistic and 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 stuff like that. not to say the dark side is not i just think thanos is a little bit a little bit better in that aspect so i think he's a bit more intelligent than dark side um but in a whole he's basically the same now he does not have the omega beam or omega effect he does have um i beam blast depending on who has drawn him or who's writing him and telling the story but he he has had the ability of having um optic blasts and stuff like that but nothing on the level of the of omega omega effect, omega beam so with that being said these two base level badass mo mofos villains of each corresponding universe the base level form dark side is going to body thanos uh, well most of the time pretty much all of the time now i'm not going to say it's going to be an easy fight for dark side it's not going to be just a whitewash it's all over um there will be some um pushback from thanos um but nine to ten times out of the time um, that dark side is going to body thanos in the story um, no argument that's just how the cookie goes so dark side wins that battle if we step it up a bit now if we step it up a notch and we go um a next tier up in their level because there's always different different versions of these characters now if we step it up so let's put um dark side and let's give him the um anti-life equation and um if we go over to thanos we'll give thanos the gauntlet with the six stones now dc fans are going to jump on there and they're going to be like well the the infinity ball and the stones do not work outside the the marvel universe which is correct this is correct so let's just say for argument's sakes we're going to put these two guys in in a in a mutual universe where these things work all right where they can have a battle using all these things and they work okay so dark side anti-life equation now people that don't know what the anti-life equation is is basically whatever the holder or whoever holds the anti-life equation has the ability to control any sentient life in the universe um so he can he can rule over multiple sentient beings um in that and it's stupidly crazy powerful um and that's why dark side's been after it for millions of years um and that's what his goal has been to get the anti-life equation so he can conquer the universe go on to the other side you've got um thanos with the infinity gauntlet and the six stones now everyone should know um every man and his dog should know by now watching the movies and that about the infinity goal about about thanos and about the, the um gems and stones so um i'm not going to explain too much about that because everyone should really know about them by now anyway but if we put these two characters up into that um into that universe into that mutual universe with both of these these things can or both of them can go at it with their full, full abilities to, to say um the anti-life equation will get in there um here's why i think the anti-life equation or thanos will come out on top over dark side with the anti-life equation now this is just my opinion guys okay but he's gonna come in there with the anti-life equation which gives you any any uh, thing over sentient life form then you go on to Thanos' side where he has got the six gems. Now, one of those six gems is the soul gem. And the soul gem is basically like the anti-life equation. It, it has the ability and the power to control sentient life or, or um, races or beings of, of that universe. Um, and it is crazy powerful. But not only has he got the soul stone, he's also got the reality gem, which uh, gives the holder the ability to warp reality or change reality as he sees fit and in, in his favor or how he likes to do it. And then on top of that, you've got the mind stone and the mind stone is another crazy one. And then you've got the time stone, the power stone and, and, and the space stone. You've got all these things. So just with the first three, with, with the soul gem, um, with the reality gem and, and the mind, and, and, uh, um, soul, not the soul one, the other one but with those gems just with those gems alone he would be able to null and void that anti-life equation now bear in mind guys 
this is just my opinion okay but that's how i think it would happen and that's not to say and it all depends it really all depends who gets the first blow because if dark side does come in with the first blow and hits him with the anti-life equation takes him over end of story end of story but if they both go in it and and thanos just boom nine times out of ten thanos is gonna gonna beat dark side does you know this is this is just my like i keep saying this is just my opinion you know i'm sure you guys feel different uh, certain people out there feel different but that's my explanation why i think thanos with the gauntlet will be able to take out dark side with the anti-life equation now so that's that's thanos botting digs uh, dark side now like i said in the previous one it's not to say that um it will be a one one side oh you know it won't be an easy it would be an easier fight for thanos it wouldn't be um and i'd say he'd win like nine nine out of ten times against dark side so yeah thanos would take that w with that that one if we step it up to the final notch which is let's go to their final strongest forms ever recorded or ever so far that they've put out so we're going to put on dc side with dark side we're going to give him true form dark side true form dark side um and then on this side on the thanos marble side we're going to go to astral regulator thanos which is these are the strongest versions to date of these two characters so with dark side's true form character um basically what it is is that every dark side um iteration that people have come off uh, come across in comics cartoons and all that they're, they're avatars they're they're um not the true dark side or not the true form dark side there are their representations of him and um they're just you know and and the true form dark side is on a whole nother tier of um stupid crazy power um but that's and if i can explain it to like marvel guys or any other one out there it's kind of like if i can compare it to um ultron if you compare it to ultron where ultron can switch his thing to other other robots or other ultrons um, but it's not the true form ultron it's not the the proper one that's probably how i can explain it to you so um even if you watched age of ultron avengers age of ultron how he was able to skip between um different robots and that they're all avatars or they're all representations of ultron but they're not actually ultron that's how i can explain true form dark side to be but like i said true form dark side badass mofo to the bone don't mess with this guy is able to wipe the floor with, with most um most superheroes now that's that's the thing because you he could wipe the uh, the justice league out um single-handedly and that's just one of his avatars that's not the true form dark side okay so you were talking about a crazy crazy powerful dude like crazy ass and you know i know and i realize that and i, I understand it respect the dark side for being that badass but then on this side we have got astral regulator thanos now if you don't know who astral regulator thanos is um you can read up on um what is it thanos um infinity ending or um infinity what is it infinity countdown infinity, no not infinity saga um yeah well anything like that it came out in 2018-19 um the first the first appearance of him now if you don't know go read those um and, and, and find out find out a bit about him he is basically um he's taken i think it's the heart of the universe and he absorbed the heart of the universe um and he went to uh death's realm now death is outside the normal reality that we know uh but he went in there and everyone should know who knows thanos is um always after the affection or always after to impress madam death and um he basically um what he does he absorbs madam death um absorbs them her into himself and that's why he ends up with look like the skull face and stuff like that but he ends up getting that crazy powerful he gets this crazy powerful that the living tribunal and the one above all had to come and the one above all said to thanos hey mate well basically hey mate chill out um just go back to what you're doing because you're starting to stuff things up just go back to what you are this is what thanos's response was no i ain't gonna do that and within seconds he absorbed the one above all and the living tribunal now let that sink in for a second now the, the one above all is the one above all he is the a lot of people compare him to or, or uh, say that he's um, um stanley 
Um, a lot of people think he's Jack Kirby. A lot of people that think think that one above all represents the writers or the creators or the artists of the actual comic book that they're writing or thing. They consider that the one above all. Um, but in this storyline, the one above all is the one above all. It's not it's not connected to any writers, creators. They he is the man. He is the guy. He is the omnipotent, uh, omnipotent, um, omniversal character. Now, DC has their character. Every um, every uh, like, like let's say comics or everything has their top tier gods or their one above all. So, so you got like, like presence in um, in DC, and then you've got like other ones in other universes. Like Image will have their one and, and, and things like that. So that's what I mean. Thanos absorbed the one above all. He absorbed him into himself as well as the living tribunal. So which means he became the one above all. And he became so crazy powerful that he became omnipotent, omnipresent, omniversal. Now if you don't know what omniversal, here's the key thing. If you don't know what omniversal means, omniversal means um, it's, it's an entity or, or something that overlooks everything in reality this has ever been created so we're not talking um your universe we're talking about our universe we're talking about the multiverse we're talking about interdimensional we're talking about alternate realities we're talking about um not just marvel's universe that's what omniversal means it means everyone so it means um marvels dc's images if you want to go even so far to say dragon ball z's one punch man all them anime characters um the star wars universe and all that that's what omniversal means you don't believe me google it go check it out and um you know but that's what it means it means he looks over everything everything so with that being said guys Thanos bodies dark side 100% of the time it ain't even a fair fight dark side would not have have a have a shot against um against uh, Thanos astral regulator Thanos now you know I know it's probably hard for a lot of people to think nah true form dark side is and don't get me wrong true form dark side is crazy powerful but he cannot beat the presence he cannot he's not omniversal he's not not that guy he's not that guy but Thanos he's that guy he is that guy um and even though he was a carbon copy of dark side astral regulator Thanos bodies dark side 100% of the time without even breaking a sweat without breaking a sweat and that's just that's just the nuts and bolts in it. That's my opinion about it, guys. Um, by all means, go look at it yourself. Go read these comics um, and go go get your own your own opinions. And, and let me know. Let me know if there's something I missed out. Um, I'm always down for a good debate, and I'm always down for um, good conversation. Um, but just ask that you don't leave your you know don't bring no negative comments or your trolling comments in here. Um, I'm all about I'm all about learning. I'm all about learning new things, and this is what I know. So I'm just giving the knowledge to you. You can make your own decision what you think, and let me know what you think down below. But that's basically it, guys. Base form, uh, dark sides, body, Thanos. Step up to the stones and anti-life equation. Thanos is gonna win. Go up to astral regulator Thanos and true form Thanos. Uh, dark side, Thanos is gonna body him. All the time so the win for me goes to thanos now yeah like i said a lot of people out there are going to be hating and all that it's all good and you know you're entitled to your opinion and i can respect your opinion um but that's my thoughts let us know what you think in the comments if you like this video hit that like button hit the subscribe button check out the other stuff on my channel go check me out on tiktok at, at captain maori that's at captain maori m-a-o-r-i go check out my videos on there follow me if you like it and we'll see you on the next video guys we out